Hi, it's Vic. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm sharing with you this sweet bird's nest card. So I've cut this out on my silhouette, just using some white card and then I'm going to be using this Create a Smile stamp set and then the background stamp set from Time for Tea Designs. So I'm just going to quickly score down the middle of this card using my scoring tool and then I'm going to fold it in half and then we're going to be working on the front of this card. And I'm going to be doing some ink blending so I've just got a piece of scrap paper here and I'm just securing that down with some washi tape so my inks don't go onto the back of the card. So I'm just using some rusty hinge and gathered twigs and I've got a blender brush. This one's from Uniquely Creative. So I'm just slowly applying the colour, the rusty hinge first, just to build the colour up. And then I'm going to go in with the darker ink, which is the gathered twigs. And again, I'm going to start at the bottom and at the top. And then I'm also going to go round the little hole in the middle because I'm going to be having some birds peeking through there. And I'm also going to be ink blending the panel that comes with the house. So it's got like a scalloped border and then this one that goes on top. So I've used the same inks to colour that in. But I do go over this with a felt tip pen in a minute. So now I've got the Time for Tea Designs wood grain A5 stamp. And I've got some Memento ink. That one's in rich cocoa. So it's a dark brown ink. And... Rather than put this on my misty, I've just gone ahead and placed the ink straight onto the stamp and then I'm just going to flip it over and then press firmly down. And I prefer doing it this way because you can, because the stamp is bigger, you can lift up just to check that the image has been stamped nicely. And now I've just got some gathered twigs, ink and some water and a paintbrush. So I'm just going to be adding some little splatters onto the birdhouse card just to give it some more detail. And I love doing this. I think I do it with most of my cards. So I'm just finishing that up and then I'm going to go ahead and remove the paper. And you'll see that it hasn't gone onto the back of the card. And next I'm going to be moving on to my stamping. So I've got Create a Smile stamps and this is the stamp set from my nest. And what I'm doing here, I've got that piece of paper and I'm just stamping the images twice before I stamp it onto the card that I'll be colouring. Just because these stamps are new. Um, so I didn't want them not stamping perfectly. So if you have new stamps, I would recommend stamping them out a couple of times on a bit of paper and then doing it on the Copic paper because you get a real nice crisp image. So now I'm just going to show you how I coloured in the robin and I will list all the markers on the screen. So I've started off with the robin using the lightest colour and then I go ahead with my middle colour just to add some shading and then I bring in my darker colour just to add some more shading and then I will go over it with my lighter colour. Another thing I do only if I'm showing you like how I coloured one image is that I will go and do exactly the same colouring on all the other birds so I always start with the main colours I'm using so in this case it's the browns and I'll colour in the first bird and then I'll move on to all my other birds. So I don't colour each stamp set like individually and then move on to the next one because it just takes so much time. So that's what I do when I'm colouring and you'll see that in a minute. And I will list all the markers in the description box as well because I'm not showing you all the birds that I coloured. So I'm just showing you this one just so you know how to colour the robin if you choose to do so. So once my robin's coloured I'm going to go ahead and add some rosy red cheeks which I love doing to my images and then I always use my white gel pen just to add some little highlights to the birds. So again that's another thing that I always do. I always seem to add my gel pen to their cheeks and I think it just brings them to life. They look so cute. So these stamps are like normal bird stamps and they're not robin stamps. I just added the red to their bellies to turn them into robins. So you can use this stamp set throughout the year, but I just saw it and it just, they look Christmassy anyway. So I wanted to use it for my card today. So 
Now I'm just adding the rest of my highlights and some little dots to the hats and then I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut these images out. So I've just used my scissors to do this. And then once my images are cut out, I've gone back to the bird card and I wanted to have a centre around the middle of the hole that's in the card. And these Time for Tea designs, this is the small scalloped frame and banner die set. This circle scallop die fits it perfectly. So I've got some wood grain paper and I'm just going to run this through my die cutting machine. And I think it was just pure luck that it actually fitted around that hole. But you can also use your circle nested dies and one of them should hopefully fit around that hole. So here I've just got a Spectrum Noir marker just to darken up that panel that I ink blended earlier. Just so it stands out a little bit more. And now I'm just going ahead and I've got some PVA glue. So I'm just sticking that scalloped circle down. And now I'm just putting the little roof together and I'm going to put the PVA glue on top of the actual card just so I didn't end up gluing things where they shouldn't be glued. And now I'm just deciding where to put everything. And as usual, I've got so carried away with the colouring, I forgot about the greeting. So I've used that same stamp set and I've got this plain black card from Paper Mill Direct. And I've got my Versamark ink, so I'm just stamping that down and then sprinkling some white embossing powder over the top. And then I'm going to get my heat gun and heat set the sentiment. And I've got my little trimmer, so I'm then going to go ahead and just trim this down. Because at the minute I have no idea where I'm going to place the sentiment because I've got all my stamped images. But then I decided it might look quite nice at the bottom of the card. So now I'm just going to go ahead and adhere that down. But first, I'm just adhering the two little robins into the inside of the card. So it looks like they're peeking out of the little bird's nest. And I thought they looked really cute sat there. So now I'm just deciding where to place everything else. And I've got some double-sided tape. So I'm just adhering that sentiment down and then just trimming off that little bit that hangs over the edge. And then I'm just going ahead and I'm using some double sided foam tape and I'm just adhering all the birds down onto my card. And I've been careful with that robin at the top so I've just applied the tape at the bottom so it doesn't get stuck to anything. And then once everything's adhered down that finishes up our card today. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I think there's going to be one more Christmas card and then that's my Christmas cards done for this year. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to let me know and I'd love you to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.